All right, so here it is, the Amish X800 Android box. Just gonna give you all a quick preview of uh, what it does and show you that it's working and everything that I put on it. So as you can see here, it's a little dark, but um, it's a very easy setup. It has a power cord adapter, it goes into the wall and then from the wall into the back of the unit. And then it also has an HDMI plug, which I included because it didn't have one. Um, and that goes from the back of the unit to the back of your TV and the HDMI port. And then also included, if you look here, you have a USB flash drive with uh, four gigabytes of space on it. So it gives you a little bit uh, extra space to download other apps and things you might want on the box. And uh, right now the box is on. There's a little switch in the back here that you can just turn on and off to turn the box on or off. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to just get into the setup real quick. So this is the home screen that you're going to see. <coughs> and um, it's moving this chair out of the way. Uh, anyway, so this is the home screen. This is what you see when you first turn the box on. Sorry about the glare, but I wanted you to have light so you could see everything that's going on. But um, <coughs> I set up the home screen like this. And um, one of the first things I want to show you on the box is Cody, which is something that allows you to watch live TV, um, also uh, you know movies, TV shows, all that stuff. And generally, they're on Cody the day, probably like two hours after they air um, on TV. And if it's a show that has commercials, it'll be on Cody two hours after it airs with no commercials, and it's free. So <clears throat> when you first turn on Cody, it's gonna you're gonna see that it's updating, like some of the stuff in the corner. Sometimes it may say update failed if the server is down on some of the add-ons, but usually you give it a, like a minute or two when you first turn it on, and it'll update everything. Now <clears throat> I put some basic add-ons on here. This is the general setup of how it looks. Um, you can alter that if you want to, but I put some of my favorites, which are some of the best add-ons available. And I just want to show you what it does. So you would come in here, you would go to like videos, let's say if you wanted to watch a movie or a TV show or something. And I recommend Exodus for movies and TV shows. So I would click that and then it has the, you know, the genres. So I'm going to go to movies real quick and I'm just going to go to featured. You know, again, you can choose anything, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of making it quick. And then uh, I'll click on Deadpool just to show you. But you can see that you have a bunch of different movies here. And so you would click on the movie that you want to watch. And then it's going to start loading up like so. And you got to give it a second. Now, this box works with Wi-Fi. Um, if you have a good uh, internet connection, good Wi-Fi connection, then... It should run very smoothly. Um, on the back of the unit, it also has a port where you can connect an Ethernet cord. Um, I do recommend that because it, it'll be a direct line right to your modem, so it'll work a lot better. Um, but as you can see, the movie's loading up. It says working in the corner. It takes a second to load up because I've set it up to where it automatically plays the stream rather than you having to search through links to try to find one that works. So it's doing the work for you right now, and here you go. The movie's going to start playing, and this is Deadpool. I'm not going to let it play too long for copyright purposes, but just to give you an idea, basically. So, so here's the movie. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, you can watch movies, TV shows, etc., and as long as you have a good internet connection, good Wi-Fi, make sure not too many people are using the Wi-Fi like crazy. All of our, all of our devices nowadays use Wi-Fi, so if you're going to watch something, it's better. It'll take up less bandwidth if, um, you know, less people are using the Wi-Fi. So, you know, maybe sign out of your phone, your tablet, whatever, if you're going to use the box. Uh, so that's the movie section. Real quick, I'll go to TV shows real quick. Um, just to show you TV shows and uh, I'll just go to new TV shows and just try something and like I said this this thing contains so many movies movies in theaters movies out on DVD movies before they come out on DVD um, stuff from Netflix Hulu 
Amazon Instant Video. So I'm going to give you an example. This show, The Path, is on Hulu. So you can watch that too. And you don't have to have Hulu. It's free right on Cody and the Exodus uh, add-on. So just click on that <clears throat> and show you a TV show real quick. And then I'll get into some other add-ons that I added on the box that didn't come with the box. Cody came with the box, but I added a bunch of other movie and TV add-ons just to give you options. So here's the show The Path on Hulu, right? So you can watch Hulu shows, Netflix shows, all free. So I'm going to stop that and we're going to go back out of this to the main screen. And I'm just hitting right click on my mouse. And again, this box does come with a remote right here. Um, I recommend getting a wireless keyboard and mouse with the USB uh, plug-in in the back. Uh, you have two ports that you can plug in uh, USB stuff in the back. I recommend just getting a wireless uh, mouse and keyboard. They sell them like as a combo pack for like 20 bucks at Walmart or you know Best Buy or wherever. Um, but it makes life a lot easier because the, while the remote does work for some things, um, it is limiting and it's a lot easier to use a mouse to click on things and navigate. All right, so that's Cody, basically. Um, you also have, you know, a couple of other movie apps, Phoenix TV, which is great to watch movies, TV, and live TV, so I kind of put it in the middle because it does both. You have your movie um, apps here, then you have this one that does both movies, TV, and live TV, and then you have your live TV apps here, or add-ons, excuse me, and these add-ons you can watch like, you know, live sports, pay-per-view events, um, or just stuff on TV right now. Uh, I'll give you a quick example just to show you that it works. So I'll go to Castaway, and I'll go to live TV, and you, it gives you a bunch of different links where they get their stuff from. So I'll just choose HDTV just for the sake of being quick here. And I'll go to WWE Network. Now it's going to show me what's playing on WWE Network right now, live, on that channel. So this is why it's so vital, because it replaces cable. You save a lot of money. Um, most people are paying $150 to $200 for a cable and internet. All you need for this is just good internet. Cancel your cable and, you know, use this. You can watch live TV, movies, everything. So right now it's loading up the stream and it's going to play whatever's Back playing on WWE Network. So here you go. Um, we had some kind of special. I don't so I'm going to stop it just for copyright purposes. I don't want them to pull the video, so I'll stop it real quick. <clears throat> but you see live TV works, movies work, TV shows work. All right, so that's Cody in a nutshell. Now I'm going to exit Cody right now and I'm going to show you some of the other add-ons that I put on. And um, yeah, I put a bunch of different apps. Not only do you have virus protection, you have something to clear the cache, which I recommend you do every time you start up the box, you should clear the cache. And in Cody, if you go to the little favorites icon right here, the little star, click that and you can actually clear Cody's cache and its packages. And I recommend doing that every time you start Cody. Um, I won't show you right now because it takes a little bit of time, but you can YouTube it on different videos. They'll show you how to clear the cache and purge the packages uh, so Cody runs smoother. But now you have some other add-ons here that I added. Um, you have Megabox, another movie add-on. I'm just going to open that real quick, show you what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. So this has a bunch of different movies in it. Click on them, hit play. You know, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Um... I'm just giving you a quick quick view and then you have video mix which is also similar has a bunch of different movies and this is just different options they have movies and tv shows you can see it's got brand new movies that are like in theaters and stuff like that some quality better than others you can sift through it sometimes you'll find it in hd quality <coughs> so yeah um that's video mix and um <coughs> then you got netflix which if you have a Netflix account, you can use it. I don't, and I don't even bother using it because all the movies and TV shows are in Kodi and the other apps for free. So um, I also put Chrome on there. You can go online, go on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. 
um, YouTube, and then you have this vast cleanup. I'm going to show you. This is the first thing you should, when you turn on the box, let it load up for like a minute because it takes a minute to load up. And then this is the first thing you should do to clear the cache of the box. Always do this when you first turn on the box and you're going to use it. Or after using it for a few hours of watching movies and shows, you should come back and do this. It makes the box run smoother. It's just like a cell phone in a way. You know, if you're familiar with Android, after using your phone and opening different apps over and over, um, the cache fills up and it slows down the device. So you want to do this. So you would click a vast cleanup and, and all you do is click it. And as soon as it opens, it, it searches and um, tells you how much it's going to clean. And then you just come over here and click safe clean. And that's it. Now it's cleaning it. And as soon as it's done cleaning it, you can back out of it with the right click button. Just hit the right click. See how it says done. So I'm going to right click and back out of this. Has some ads there but you can ignore that so I right click and click out of this and now my cache is cleared and the box runs smoother also included um, Aptoid which is a free app store like Google Play Store except you get a lot of the apps that they normally charge for for free so I hooked you up with that too you have ES File Explorer which is very useful if you're using like a, you know a flash drive or something that you plug in it's easier to find stuff and grab it from the flash drive and search your hard drive with that now on the remote if you look there's also I have Showbox on here it's not in the favorites because for some reason with the new update it's not loading from the home screen but if you look see that app button right there if I press that it's gonna bring me to another screen and uh, on that screen I can go to Showbox which is another movie app show you here it's another great movie app and then I'll click on it and hit OK and you have to load it from that app button so here's just asking age and gender I'm just gonna fill that in real quick it probably won't ask again but anyway this is the home screen it gives you news about movies and then if you go to the little drop down you have movies TV shows you could save stuff as favorites that way you don't have to search for it each time so your TV shows and stuff but look ton of movies you know what I mean ton of movies it's got a ton of TV shows you know what I mean search through it but it's a very good setup it's got a search bar here you can search for the movie you want it's got you could sort it by genre year so if you're looking for comedy from like 1982 you can do that whatever or just search by the name and uh, the, yeah that's Showbox so that's another one that you can access again you press apps on the remote and then you just go to Showbox and click on it and it'll open that's the only way that one will open for some reason I think it's something funky with the new update they did and all these programs automatically update when you open them it'll ask you to update it just click update click install and follow directions and it's easy they're all updated right now though so that's a general look at the box and how it works um, you know pretty much I'm selling it for 80 bucks so you can find it for like 60 70 on Amazon or whatever but it's not gonna come with all the stuff that I put on it um, you get all these free uh, movie and TV show apps you also get the cleanup apps you get the free app store you get everything so I put a lot of work into this to make it basically um, idiot proof no offense but it's just easier to use for the average person and they don't have to go downloading a bunch of stuff so hit me up if you want this box I'm gonna be posting it on um, you know my social medias and also um, on Craigslist so let me know if you dig it and uh, hit me up with a message if you're interested in purchasing serious inquiries only please alright that's the Amish x800 Android box Peace.